Hello dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's video, we are continuing with the exercise portions of projectile motion. The main formulas which we were using here are y equals x tan theta minus half g x square by u square cos square theta which represents the path of a projectile. Path of a projectile is parabolic motion uh, so this will be represented like this and t equals 2u sin theta divided by g and h is equal to uh, u square sin square theta by 2g r is equal to u square sin 2 theta by g. Here t is the total time required for the time of flight, r is the maximum horizontal distance which it is covering as range that is r and then next h is the maximum height, maximum height how uh, vertically how much distance it will be covering that is represented by h. Using these formulas we were doing the numericals and today first question is a jet air aeroplane is flying at a constant height of 2 km with a speed 360 km per hour above the ground towards the target and releases a bomb. After how much time it will hit the target and what will be the horizontal distance of the aeroplane from the target so that the bomb should hit the target. So here a jet aeroplane is moving at a constant height of 2 km. So from the ground this is at a distance 2 km. With a speed of 360 km per hour above the ground towards a target releases a bomb. So 360 km per hour it is moving with the speed and releasing the bomb. So when it is releasing the bomb since aeroplane is moving horizontally this also will be moving horizontally. Then after how much time will it hit, hit the target and what will be the horizontal distance of the aeroplane from the target so that the bomb should hit the target. So here we need to find out horizontal range and time of flight. How can we find out the horizontal range and time of flight? Here I am considering the y axis because it is given already the 2 km is given x axis the distance the speed is happening only along the x axis so I can find out the y axis is speed along y axis is equal to 0 distance along y axis is equal to 2 kilometers that is 2000 meter so we can consider s is equal to ut plus half a t square now u y a y so u y will become equal to 0 therefore 2000 equals half 10 t square therefore t square equals 4 t 400 therefore t equals uh, 20 seconds so we are getting the time as 20 seconds so in 20 seconds of time what will be the horizontal distance traveled by the uh, uh, bomb that is r equals horizontal distance distance how can we find out here we have ux with us and the time required for the target to reach the ground we know that will be the horizontally also it will be traveling during that time it will be traveling horizontal horizontally also so the horizontal distance will be velocity into time ux into t ux is 30, 360 into 5 by 18 into 20 so here we will be getting it as that is uh, at 20 uh, it's 100 and then 2000 meters okay or 2 kilometer we will be getting so horizontally the distance here the options are 10 second 1 kilometer uh, 20 second 2 kilometers so for that answer is 20 second 2 kilometers okay clear so the next question Two, sec two second after projection, a projectile is traveling in a direction inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal. After one more second, it is traveling horizontally. Then the velocity of the projectile is, uh, the options are given, okay. Velocity of the projectile is 20 root 3 meter per second. Angle of projection is 30 degree with the horizontal. Both A and B are correct. Both A and B are wrong. Okay. So, here 
2 second after projection, projectile is traveling in a direction inclined at an angle 30 degree to the horizontal. So after the projection, see object is starting from this point and it is projecting. After 2 seconds, when time t equals 2 seconds, the angle of projection is 30 degree. Then after 1 second, it is traveling horizontally. If the object is traveling only horizontally, or only horizontal motion is existing, then we can, that where will be the position of object? Position of object will be at the maximum height. Okay, so at that time, at the maximum height, the object will be moving horizontally. So what will be the total uh, time of flight to reach the maximum height? To reach the maximum height, here 2 seconds and here 1 more second, all together it is 3 seconds. So total time of flight divided by 2 will be equal to 3 seconds. So what will be the total time of flight here? It will be equal to 6 seconds. So from the starting of the projection, while it is reaching to an angle of 30 degree, it is covering 2 seconds. After one more second, the distance is acting, the velocity is acting only horizontally. Horizontal velocity is existing. That means here it is at the maximum height. So at the maximum height, it is uh, 3 seconds. So t by 2, half of the uh, total time is 3 seconds. So total time required is 6 seconds. Clear? So next is, after, uh, it is traveling then, the velocity of projection is, so it is given as first option velocity of projection as 20 root 3 meter per second and second option uh, the angle of projection with respect to the horizontal is 30 degree and then third option is A and B are correct and uh, fourth option is A and B are wrong. So here our aim is to find out 20 root 3 uh, velocity we uh, need to find out and then we need to find out theta value. So first our aim is to find out the velocity of projection, velocity of the uh, object is, so here it is first option is velocity of projection. So velocity, initial velocity we need to find out. Initial velocity means the velocity which is uh, usually we will divide that initial velocity component into x component and y component, right. So here we need to find out ux and uy. After finding out ux and uy, we can take root of ux square plus uy square. Here we have the time required for reaching the 6 seconds, the time interval we know. Okay, then I am uh, trying to find out the velocity v equals u plus a t. This formula I am finding out. Velocity along the y axis will be equal to 0 while taking time as 3 seconds. In 3 seconds of time, velocity is equal to 0 along y axis. So, 0 equals initial velocity, we don't know, uy plus ay is 10 into t is 3 seconds. So, here we will get it as uy as 30 meter per second. Okay, so initial velocity is 30 meter per second. So, in 2 seconds, it is covering, third, uh, so initial velocity as 30 meter per second we got. Now, next our aim is to find out the value of ux. ux won't be having any change since the acceleration is not acting along the x-axis. So, here we, uh, how can we find out the value of ux? At the point, after 2 seconds, it is reaching to tan 30. Right, tan 30 we can find it as vy by vx, that is tan, th tan 30. Then vy, how we can find out vy will be equal to v equals u plus a t, uy plus a into t divided by vx will be remaining as ux only because uh, the x value won't be changing since it is not affected by the acceleration, x axis is horizontal distance is not affected by the acceleration. So here we know uy as 30 plus acceleration is 10 into t is for reaching to this point, what is the time required to reach the final velocity as here? It is equal to 2 seconds, right? So it is moving in the upward direction, therefore acceleration is negative ux. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3, therefore we will be getting it as here ux equals 30 minus 20, 10, 10 root 3. 
10 root 3 as the x, ux value and uy value we already got it as 30. Now we can find out u root of ux square plus uy square. ux square is 10 root 3, 10 root 3 is uh, 100 into 3 plus uh, 900. Okay, 100 into 3 is uh, 300 plus root of 1200. Okay, root of 1200 I can write it as 400 into 3, therefore it will be 20 root 3. So the distance, the initial velocity, this is correct only. Now we need to find out whether theta equals initial projectile that it is making an angle 30 degree or not. That one we need to find out. For that we need ui and ux value. Ui by ux will be equal to tan theta. So here ui, ui at an angle, uh, let's see what will be the... Uh, ui value initial velocity uh, along the y axis. Initial velocity along the y axis we got it as 30 and ux value we got it as 10 root 3. Here, so here we are getting it as root 3. Tan, th tan theta is root 3. Then theta will be equal to theta equal 60 degree we are getting. So here we are getting the answer as the velocity will be equal to 20 root 3. Okay, clear? So the next question is, a projectile is fired at an angle 30 degree to the horizontal such that the vertical component of its initial velocity is 80 meter per second. Its time of flight is t and its velocity at t equals t by 4 has a magnitude. We need to find out the velocity, final velocity we need to find out. For that, angle of projection theta is given 30 degree to the horizontal such that the vertical component of its initial velocity is 80 meter per second. Initial velocity vertical component is given as 80 meter per second that is in u y is given as uh, 80 meter per second. Velocity uh, time is given as t by 4. In that we need to find out the velocity at the time interval t by 4. Okay, so how can we find out V is equal to U plus AT? You can substitute and try to find out this one. You can do it as a homework question. It's easy only. You will be getting an answer as 144.2 meter per second. You will be getting. You can try this. Okay, so only uh, two questions we discussed today and these two are important questions. I hope uh, today's video is useful for you. And if you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.